<laughs> hey, but um, I've, I've, I've been uh, last week to, uh, to Croatia. It's, it's, um, it's a country where they have good fighters. I mean, special fighters like Krokop, you know, uh, some K1 fighters. And uh, Branko Sitatic come, come from Zagreb, or come from Croatia. Uh, you're from Croatia. The, the mentality of the fighters, um, is, that a, is that a warrior's mentality? Yeah, like the amount of talents. And but fun fact, Branko is from the same place that I am. It's like the small town near Split, like 20,000 people. So growing up, if I say I'm a fighter, like, ah, who's better, you or Branko? Like, <laughs> yeah, but, but the, uh, the, the amount of talents I saw in Croatia, it's, I think it's like very, very high for mm -hmm. like fighting game. But mm -hmm. the problem is because the, they are not enough now they are starting some e uh, MMA events something like that but they are not just enough events or stuff like it like I don't know infusion super combat stuff like that to fighters go to, to go through then and the scene like the fighting scene like kickboxing in, it's mostly like Vako like amateur yeah amateur yeah. or is uh, if my like Muay Thai also amateur so you fight and you get like the scholarship from the country and it's mostly like on the amateur part and then the guys either stay in the amateur longer time make some like make uh, some club or something like that and go that way mm -hmm. and like few of them try to go really professional because it's either uh, not enough opportunity for them to go or or uh, they go uh, get in like the bad company and stuff then they go like the wrong way yeah. you know like yeah. they they go like uh, working on doors and uh, you know, so. maybe bodyguard but yeah so yeah, it's yeah. it's like so that's the pro it's not like that's what i'm trying to do less like to like push a little bit like professional scene for like i don't think like the now from one moment like all the fighters will be the greatest ever from Croatia mm -hmm. stuff like but it's like the the pool of like the talents it's really really big but they have they, they don't move up to the to the professional level yeah not not to eat like now I try to open the door to like everybody if anybody from uh, Croatia wants to come to like the my gym to train to do something mm -hmm. they can but also the problem is I think the guys I is it financial? Uh, is that the financial? Is that the problem? Mike also have we have some combination to help to do something to you know it's it it will not cost you almost anything or much but the problem is also that uh, you know some guys they are talented and everything they think they want it till they get the chance you know mm -hmm. when they get the chance you like you just need to be here and train and, and be humble yeah and work hard just like be here train and not to do and then they come here then after a month ah, it's too hard ah, it's this and that and you know how is mike like mike is a little bit old school trainer yeah, yeah. your pain you, you you hurt your hand like yeah he did the other yeah, one yeah. Yeah, yeah. and they are not like ready for that because they get i think too much uh, comfort training like in croatia because in korea it's like how Mike said, you have like the gym stars, you know, they yeah. have from every gym one guy that is a the star. The Doyle fighters. And yeah. he, he's yeah. used to that. And then when he comes here, he's like, you are nobody, you are shit. Mm -hmm. Then they don't like it. And after months, two, three, then, uh, then ah, this is not good. Uh, and stuff like mm -hmm. it's stuff like that. Because also when I come here, I was like, uh, nobody, nobody gave, you know, nobody gave a fuck a lot about me. I, you come spar, yeah. go home. You will see. Yeah. And yeah. If it, so.